What's going on, homies? Welcome back to another episode of Road to Glory. Now, this episode, I didn't notice till halfway that my mic was actually muted. So, the first game that you're going to see of this episode is going to be like how my uh, Road to Glory highlights that I did like maybe two years ago was. Uh, so, that's like what the format of the, the first one's going to be. Then, then the second one, it's fixed. So, just want to well, just want to lay that out. Just if you're thinking like, oh, my speakers aren't working or whatever, but you, you'll still be able to hear game sounds. So, yeah, enjoy the video. Smith on the tackle. Howell with the catch. 
So after my dumbass uh, forgot to record my audio last game, kind of upset. But also more has happened. I uh, I tried playing this game before, but I had to pause it because I had an interruption in my video. And it wouldn't let me on pause. Like, I paused it and it didn't even pull up the menu. I am going to need you because they're all stopped. Okay. So I, gotta I, I need you to find them one. Okay. Dude, it doesn't leave. It doesn't leave. I swear. I try this again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everything is falling apart. I tried recording this video before, like I said before, and it didn't work. Oh my god, dude. I can't. I am having a terrible game. Good thing the last game was so good, but I had an interruption. I paused. It wouldn't let me unpause. So then I was like, you know, maybe something wrong with the controller. I, I, um,. I took the battery pack out and I put it back in and it still wouldn't let me press any buttons. I pressed the Xbox button and then it wouldn't let me do anything after that. I couldn't even like close the Xbox menu. And then I turned off my Xbox and my Xbox was all the way off, but the game was still running in the background. So then my game didn't freeze. It's just like, it wouldn't let me press any buttons. So I'm like, okay, that's fantastic. Um, I wasn't thinking about running. Okay, that was a, oh my God, dude, I'm fucking terrible. Like my Xbox just like broke right there. And now my second time around, I, I, things should be things should be looking up for the second time around. I mean, I did already have like an interruption, but it's fine. And sorry, I should be able to get in the end zone with that pass. Yeah, you should, mate. So last time I played this, um, Pierre played us pretty close. It was 21-21 at the end of the first. So they're playing us relatively close. I think their offense was just really good. And... Oh, that should have been like a bat down or a pick. But this is my third time talking about my issues that I've had today. So we're going to do this all over again. Run it back. So I, I bought a, an external hard drive from Western uh, Western Digital. I think that's the company name. And they're it's not like they're like a bum company. They're pretty well known. They're pretty popular for hard drives and stuff like that. So I got a two terabyte external hard drive for my Xbox because I only have a five gigabyte Xbox and I can literally with the size of games nowadays, I can only hold like three games. So I, I was like, this is a good investment. I should buy this. Then I can download uh, the games that I actually want to download. And that should have been a pick. So it worked well all the way until like around two months ago. And then it got really noticeable around Black Friday when I bought a whole bunch of games. But, oh crap, I had the burp and we're mid-play. Um, ooh. Ooh. Okay, if I broke that, that would have been pretty epic. So what happens is when I'm downloading stuff to my external hard drive, it... It like downloads a certain amount, downloads an uh, X amount, and then it says installation stopped. So it's kind of annoying because oh, with my slow internet, I barely get anything downloaded. So that just kind of gets annoying. Uh, and then what I have to do to fix it is unplug the external hard drive for around five-ish minutes and plug it back in. And then it'll start downloading for X amount of time again. Uh, then when I miraculously actually download it i actually get it downloaded then it gives me like a 10 minute trial on the game and i'll explain that in a second so it gives me my 10 minute trial what i mean is for instance like madden which was downloaded on my external hard drive it gave me like around uh like 10 ish minutes and then it would crash every single time and then um i had to either um unplug my external hard drive for five minutes plug it back in, in or power restart and unplug my external hard drive so i had to do that every single time for like 10 minutes like 10 minutes every single time so i do plug all that stuff in i get all done i open mad and play for 10 minutes it does the same thing so i have to rinse and repeat which gets kind of aggravating it's especially if you are oh shit oh shit well, that's, that's unfortunate. And especially it'd be annoying for games like uh, Call of Duty because if I'm only playing like one game, then uh, I had to like reset them. My teammates had to wait in the lobby and wait for me for my stuff to keep, uh, to start working again. And dude, I'm just doing so bad this game. Again, it's very annoying. So how I know it's my external hard drive is because I try to download games and play them on my internal, no problems. Everything works just fine. So I'm at this point, I'm like, okay, there's no way it's my, it's actually something dude you could have ran so i know it's my external hard drive and not like something wrong internally with my xbox so i ruled that out that it's not internally in my xbox so then i um i start looking at uh like different 
uh, reddits and stuff just to find some like answer solutions all that fun stuff oh also wh whenever it does crash me out of the game and i want to open it back up it says game needs to finish installing or say ready to start so i mean that's think about i mean <laughs> if i'm i just got done playing the game that means it's installed and or ready to start so i don't understand why it says that and uh it gives me an error code and whenever i look up that error code that it doesn't like whatever the solutions are they don't match up with my actual problem so i'm looking for i'm looking on reddit looking on reddit for solutions and nobody's had my issue they've had a different variation of it but they haven't had like my issues and some things have worked for others but they don't work for me so i've been looking searching and i've tried everything i've tried um power restarting my xbox i have tried factory resetting my xbox i've tried a new cord i've tried uh, different ports around my xbox i've um tried reformatting it from my or formatting it to my xbox game which means deleting everything um i tried formatting it to my pc and then formatting it to my xbox again so i basically just clear everything out again it washes it off and it, it helped that helped a little bit but it still has an issue i noticed it because i've been trying to download world war ii again i want to play it again uh just to see if i'm i'm still good and uh it, it says installation stopped after a while so i kind of just got annoyed and i'm like okay we're gonna we're, we need to fix this so um i need to toss that so i called i i, I kind of called the the tech support for um the for western digital and yeah, I didn't have to wait long because there's not that many people having external hard drive issues, believe it or not, compared to like people with iPhones and stuff. So, uh, 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 let's get the first. That's all that matters. Speaking of tech support, I also was on Xbox support for two and a half hours at like four in the morning, and just for them to say, yeah, we, we, yeah, we don't know what's wrong. So, um, we're just gonna have to leave you be. And then, um, I. Went to Western Digital, called them, got on the phone with the guy, and he, of course, he has to be Indian tech support. So, I'm trying to understand him. I really could not understand him at all. He's like, what you got to do is go to my PC. And I'm like, dude, I don't speak Indian. Like, what? So, after talking to him for about, like, and trying to, like, like basically repeating everything to him, uh, because I'm like, oh, so you want me to do this, do this, because I just don't know. I need him to be like, yes. Uh, but... Uh, he, he basically reformatted it on my he formatted it to my PC But he did everything that I did when I formatted mine, but just in a different like way He did it in a different order or different keystrokes. He he kind of did it differently So um so far, I don't know if that's gonna work just that different way that he did it. I doubt because I I, I Reformatted it before um, through my PC What a run actually that was a really good run like I said, he just reformatted it in a different way, and that's really where I'm at in the story. I'm just kind of gonna determine uh, if it actually did work. Right now, I'm actually um, I'm updating my Black Ops 4 and downloading all the DLCs that came out recently. So um, after I download all that stuff, I'll actually start downloading World War II or some games, my external hard drive, and see if it actually worked. I doubt it will, but it's worth a shot. We are annihilating Pierre. That's kind of insane, that uh, because they they were close to us in my first game. Ooh, get back up, boy. The sad part is I have exams this week, but the, the good part is that I'm done with school. So, that, that I have goods and bads of this week. I had to worry about taking exams. I really only have, like, four exams to take. I had to take one for, um, take one for my history class. I got to take one for pre-calculus. I got to take one for Spanish, three. And then my fourth one is uh, Chem 2. So, the, the only one I'm really too, like, concerned about is, uh, my pre-calculus one and for the ooh, that's a dumb pass and maybe oh it wasn't a dumb pass and maybe my spanish one i think my spanish uh exam actually tomorrow morning i take my spanish one tomorrow morning and my uh, i believe my history one and then i take my pre-calculus and chemistry on the second day so i'll be i'm getting out of school both days relatively early so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I just don't want to take the, the test. I'm not a big test taker. I'm not a big fan of the old test rooms. Can we please shut out this team, dude. I like shutting out teams. We haven't done it yet because we always give our, our uh, defense always gives up a touchdown near the end. 
we did really good last game. Last game was probably one of our best games. Our stat line was insane. Um, ooh, 52 yards. That was almost like a 54-yard touchdown. 52-yard touchdown, whatever. 11 straight passes made. That's pretty impressive for me, for, for, for being honest. But we should be able to get Howell in the end zone. So we're going to be like, hike, and then send you in. There you go. And they might take us out of the game because we're up by 49. Um, I thought the baseline was like 50. But, oh, dang. No, don't let him score. Don't let him score. Oh, we did it. Oh, boy. Yes, and we shut him out 56-0. to Will we be... A, we're not a five-star recruit yet? What the fuck? Did we had another good game. The only bad thing we did was throw a pick. But, really, the outcome of the... I mean, with how good we did offensively, it doesn't mean anything. Ooh! Our... One of our uh, picks for schools gives us a scholarship, and that is Georgia. So, I'm going to click Georgia right there. And out of these three... Probably the biggest fan out of TC uh, of TCU. So um, we're still ranked 125th out of 150 in, in like the the country, which blows my mind because our stats are pretty significant. I don't think we can actually see any stats, but that's gonna be the end of this episode. We'll be playing Canton next game or next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and that's all I got. See ya. That's all, folks.